Hi, I'm Allison with Loris Technology. I'm here today to talk about our new LNE 3003 series network camera. Once you've received your camera, carefully open the box by removing the safety seal on the back. Inside of your box you'll find the camera, the stand, the antenna and power adapter, as well as some documentation. It comes with an easy to use quick start guide which we recommend that you read through to ease the process of installing your camera on your system. The system also comes with a CD. The CD is very important that you run on a PC in order to find your camera on the network. Put the CD into your CD-ROM and close the drive and the Digi Console should automatically load. In the meantime, while the Digi Console is loading, we're going to set up our camera. In order to put the camera on the network, we're going to connect the provided Ethernet cable into the base of the camera and we'll put the other end of the cable into our router. It's very important that we use a router and not a switch or a hub in order to get proper IP information into the camera. The camera can also not be connected into your computer directly. It must go into a router. I'll put my cable into the base of the camera and I'll put the other end of my cable into my router. Now, I'm going to go back to my DigiConsole window, which is loaded on my computer. On your setup, you'll see a Windows pop-up. This has to do with the Windows firewall, and it's very important that you choose to unblock the application in order that the software can find the camera on your network. Your camera may also take up to two minutes to get an IP address from your router and lease proper network information. When I choose the Find option in the DigiConsole, my camera may not appear right away. Be patient, your camera will appear. Choose Find Again, and your camera should appear in the list. In order to load your camera, simply double click. The camera will load in the Internet Explorer window. Type in the username admin in small letters, and type in the password admin, also in small letters, and then choose OK. On your installation of the camera, you will see a DirectX pop-up appear over here. This is important to view the video on your camera, so click on the DirectX pop-up and choose to install the application. Our software is now showing a live video stream. This video is real-time. I can show you by popping up over here. Here's our video. It really is as simple as that. Thank you.